Today on The Joy of Editing, we have exciting news about Topaz Photo AI's latest update, version 1.4.2. The folks at Topaz have introduced a new shortcut panel that displays all the available shortcuts. This edition is a game changer as it will significantly speed up our Topaz Photo AI workflow. So stay tuned for more on the new shortcut panel. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yet another Topaz Photo AI update. This is version 1.4.2, now with a shortcut panel, which is really going to help out to speed up our workflow. I'll also give you a free PDF. You'll find it in the description below this video. You can download that PDF. It's going to have a list of every one of your shortcuts. This way, you can maybe print that out and keep it by your side till you learn the shortcuts. And again, it's really going to help speed up the workflow. So let's check it out. On the screen right now, you're seeing all the changes in Topaz Photo AI since version 1.4.1. So you may want to pause the video and read over the different changes here and fixes. Now, there is a note here for Mac OS users. The new minimum supported OS version is now 11.0 Big Sur. So you have to have at least 11.0 Big Sur to use Topaz Photo AI. I just wanted to point that out. All right, then let's take a look at this new shortcuts panel. Where do we find it? Hey, and by the way, don't forget to download my PDF notes, which you could print out and keep that by your side, as I said in the intro. This way you can familiarize yourself with the shortcuts. Now, there's several ways of finding the shortcut panel, and one of the ways is a shortcut. It's command or control, depending if you're on a Mac or PC, command or control forward slash, and that'll bring up the preferences and it'll take you right to the shortcuts. And as you can see here, you can scroll through all the different shortcuts right here. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel this for now. Another way of doing it is coming up to help in the menu bar, click on help and click on keyboard shortcuts. So that's another way. And there's one final way, and that is to come up here to Topaz Photo AI, click on that, go to preferences, and you'll find your shortcuts that way. So three different ways. And by the way, the shortcut to get out of this preference panel is escape. I'll type my escape key, and that will close out our preferences. So there's three different ways of accessing the shortcut panel. Okay, let me use the shortcut to open up the shortcut panel. Again, that's command or control forward slash and here is our panel and this is broken down into groups so here we have files so we can open images and you can see the shortcuts on the right here for instance open images command or control zero save images command or control s then you can close all images or just close an image you can uh, show an image in the finder by doing a option or alt command or control r that's really nice and then we have a view section we can zoom to fit, zoom to 100%. We can zoom in, zoom out. All of these are super helpful. Then we have our views. We can see a single view with a shortcut. We can get there real quick. Go to a split view. We have a side-by-side -side view shortcut. We can go to next image by using the right arrow key. Go to the previous image by using the left arrow key, which is really nice. And then we can go into masking, which will open up select subject. So you just type M to open up select subject. Here, we can undo a mask stroke. We can redo a mask stroke. We can toggle the mask mode. You know, when you wanna add or subtract a stroke, just type X. We can toggle the AI brush from an AI brush to just the standard brush by typing B. We can decrease brush size. We can increase brush size with a shortcut. Decrease feathering and increase feathering. And then we have cropping. So we can enter the crop mode by typing C. We can reset a crop here. Shift, Command, or Control, R. We can toggle the aspect ratio lock. Type A to do that. So we can toggle that lock on or off. We can flip the aspect ratio with X. And then we have a section called Other. We can open up Preferences by Command, or Control, Comma. Detect Faces. Enter the face selection by typing F. We can preview detected faces, shift F. Then we can apply changes to mask, crop, or faces by typing enter or return. We can cancel changes to mask, crop, or faces by typing the escape key. So there you go. Those are all the different things that we can do. 
Now, right now, if I want to get out of here, I can just use my escape key and that gets rid of that. So I think this is really going to help out. And I don't know about you, but I like the fact that Topaz are giving us updates every week because they listen to your feedback. And don't forget to give them your feedback. Go up here to help and click on give feedback and give them your feedback. What do you want to see changed? What do you want to see improved? And let me know in the comments section what you think of this approach. I think it's a great approach because at the end of the day, we're getting a better product. And I think that that's a very good thing. But you let me know in the comments section below what you think. I'd really love to hear from you. Well, there it is, everyone. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like. Share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. Hey, also, if you don't yet own Topaz Photo AI, or if you want to renew your license or purchase any Topaz products, I have affiliate links in the description below. When you use those links, I make a small commission, and this helps support the joy of editing with Dave Cully. And when you do that, I truly appreciate it, and thank you. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Cully. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.